Hello, can you understand what I am signing right now? What, what is that? <laughs> Statistically, you probably can, but would you like to? Now, I'm not going to sit here and teach you sign language. Why would I do that? Instead, we're gonna make a robot that can translate American Sign Language in real time. For the eyes, let's use this webcam. I done used it six videos ago for some facial recognition stuff, so I know it will do us well. I've got my potato laptop to pick up this webcam with some code. We're using OpenCV to do this, but I can make a letter A and it doesn't mean that much to the code right now. Useless! So we've got to make an AI model that's able to take that photo from a second ago, identify the area of interest, i.e. the sign, and get rid of all the mumbo jumbo around it, and then send that off to a robot, but I'll deal with the robot a bit later. Firstly, we've got to procure some data, which means photo time. I need these photos to train my model. Since we've got 26 letters and 100 data photos per letter, that means we need 2600 photos. You're totally annoying. Now I've got to come in with this label imaging software to tell my model exactly what this specific area of the photo means. Nice framing, dumbass. I'm gonna be real with you. I think that this will work, but there is a way better, cooler way to do this. You have a hand, right? With presumably four fingers and a thumb. If I could relate the position and orientation of each one of these components, I could in theory know exactly where the hand is in 3D space. This is something called landmark detection, or that's what they call it. And bang, with some coding shenanigans from the git of the hub, we get this. We get a sort of skeleton that forms on the hand with each component having its own individual color. If I feed my positional data to the classifier, then I can teach it exactly what orientation and position the hand needs to be in for it to recognize an actual gesture. Now this is just for still images, but I can scale this up to a moving frame. We've got the frame moving now and the classifier added, but I need a way to trigger what sort of letter is being held at the current moment. I don't just want to simultaneously record every single letter that I use. So when I hold it for more than a second, that's going to cause a trigger in the code, which is then going to store that letter. All those stored letters are then gonna make a big ass word. We've also got this reset function. It acts as a sort of space between the words. When I hold it for more than a second, the word is complete and it's gonna be able to speech through the robot. Devil's advocate here. Is this actually the best way to do this? Spelling words takes a lot of time, meaning actually having a conversation with this thing is going to be a slow but really flexible process. Anything you can spell, you can say. The other option is simply to sign out words you're making. For example, this is thanks. But this means there's so little flexibility with what you'd actually be able to say. You'd only be able to say the 100 words that the model's actually trained on. I'm gonna stick with the first option for this video, but tell me what you think. Next, we need to work on the actual robot. We could make something that like follows you around, has a webcam plastered on top, but you don't sign behind you, you sign in front of you. I've experimented with this 3D printed necklace and the idea is it would wrap around your neck, you could hang a camera off of it, but the issue is it's weak. Because of that, we're gonna switch out the necklace for some elastic cord similar to the stuff we used in the finger for the robotic hand, and the pendant of the necklace is going to hold the webcam. This is what it looks like in CAD. Little bit of printing here, little bit of printing there, and ta-da! Check out this shit, it feels pretty damn cool. I can make letters and the camera picks it up in front of me. There is one big caveat with this system. I train the model with my hands facing the camera front on, i.e. what someone would see if they were talking to me and I was signing with them. But this system is the other way around. The webcam is now behind the hands. Certain letters pick up really well, like B and the reset. These are very obvious letters, but the more intricate letters like T and E just cannot distinguish from one another well at all. So I need to retrain my model facing the other way around. Here's that model retrained. What gesture do you think this is? Maybe S or T? That's right, it's M. If we can't even tell with our own eyes what the gesture is, we can't expect the classification system to do it either. And this is how I'm fixing it. Whack ass design. Look, it ain't exactly pretty. Psych! 
It's beautiful, mainly this buckle and lock I designed. You can snip in and out however you please. And I made a long ass arm with that functionality, with the webcam that can see me at the end of it. Safe to say it's not my most flattering angle, but it does work. Now let's get some speech involved. I'm going to use Google's text-to-speech algorithm to get this working. Remember that stored string from earlier? By feeding that into our TTS algorithm, we can get a result, and by triggering with the reset, we get a voice output. Foot. Sounding like a goddamn shorts video. Now my computer speakers are ass, so I picked up this from that large forest in Brazil, if you know what I mean. And shebang, here's the system in action. Just how fast is it to actually have a conversation with someone? It largely depends on how adept you are at using the system. Oh my god, what the fuck? What is E? Huh. I.e. if you actually know sign language and are not having to rely on a Google image, like my dumbass. To be fair, I was doing A. <laughs> I can't really be too mad at that you'll actually be able to use it a lot faster than me. Hello. I moved the interval between letters to 0.5 seconds, so as long as the system classified your gesture correctly, which it should do 96% of the time, you'll be able to type two letters every second, which equates uh, to 120 okay. letters every minute. Ogres. I don't like onions. So what was I signing at the beginning of the video? A-S-S-H-A-T. Ass hat. Ass hat. Bet you're glad you waited for that. Thanks for watching very much, guys, and subscribe if you haven't already. Goodbye.